Hey, thanks for joining me. I want to begin with a very basic question. Who are you? Who are you? I know you have a name and you have a family of origin and you have various roles that you function in. And along with that, of course, culture adds all sorts of other ways that, that we might identify ourselves with. And yet Jesus is going to supersede all of that in a number of ways, and in particular in the Sermon on the Mount, in chapter 5, verses 13 and 14, Jesus is going to say who you are in ways that only Jesus can. For example, verse 13, he, he says to this crowd listening to him, and of course, this is not you know a pastor's conference or a gathering of cultural economic elites. These are very common people with very common needs. They need healing. They need hope. They need purpose. Some are even thinking, well, maybe I will follow him. And to this group and to us by extension, Jesus says, you know who you are? Well, first of all, again, verse 13, you are the salt of the earth. Now, there's lots of ideas about what Jesus means by calling us salt. And yet they all pretty much boil down to the same thing, which is salt is good. Salt is an enhancement. It's a blessing. And so just as salt is to food, we are called to be the same to the world around us, to be an enhancement, a blessing. And that's part of our calling, who we are as God's people. Second thing he says, verse 14, is that you are the light of the world. Now, my goodness, where would we be without light? Uh, light allows us to not only you know, navigate our world, but to even discern you know, the nature of it, the nature of reality. Light it makes life possible and so much more. And so by calling us the light of the world, I mean, that's amazing <laughs> when it comes to that's your identity, to reflect the reality of who Jesus is, who God is, what his good and loving and true intentions are for humankind and for the creation that he's made. And so this is massive. And yet he says, that's who you are. Now, why does this matter? Well, unless we keep this you know, somewhat at the fore of our mind, we can kind of go adrift. We can forget what our actual true purpose is. Good example of this is in the movie, you may recall, animated movie, The Lion King. And of course, you're aware of this because it played in theaters and sold millions of DVDs. And I think it played on Broadway for like, I don't know, 30, 40 years. Anyway, critical part of the story, young Simba the lion has lost his way. He's living an aimless life. And then he has a vision of his father. And in that vision, his father says to him, you have forgotten who you are and so have not become all you were meant to be. So what's the remedy? His dad says, remember who you are. Remember who you are. And I just want to remind you of the same today. Remember who you are. You are salt. You are light. And don't take my word for it. Jesus Christ himself says these things about you. And so today, look for opportunities to live this out. Ask God to help you live this out, to give you the desire to live this out as you remember who you are in each moment, each interaction. You are salt and light. Well, thanks for joining me. God bless you and have a great day.